Hey, this is another video about the Ryobi battery not charging. Um, there was some comments on my other one that it was too long. So I'm going to skip a lot of the processes that, you know, rambling from the other video. Basically, this battery has nothing. 0.1 volts. And I got some leads here. Um, this is a fully charged battery. Let's come over and test this one. 19.5 volts, 19.6. Um, it's been sitting for a couple days or whatever. It's a positive lead, negative lead. Um, don't touch them. They can spark, damage the battery, catch fire, shock you, whatever. Take a positive lead. We're going to put that there. Take a negative lead. Put that in here on the side of the case. Um, if we hook it here, I believe that this is going to go through the controller and it's not going to transfer properly. I don't know. I'm not an electrical expert. Uh, I, know, I know just enough to be dangerous. Um, so we'll let this sit here for a couple minutes. And let's test that to make sure that we got power coming over here. So we got 18 and a half volts coming over here. So let that sit for a couple minutes and we'll come back and check it. Okay, we're back after a couple minutes. Um, let's test again. So we see 18.3 volts. So we'll disconnect our positive lead. This has been sitting for a few minutes or so. Take that off. And you can see now we got 17 volts. Um, that's it. You should be able to reassemble it and put the battery on the charger and it should accept a charge now that the voltage, I don't know what the exact voltage is, but if it gets too low, the controller won't uh, allow it to accept the charge. Uh, some sort of safety feature. Like I said, I'm not an electrical expert. There were some other comments from some other people on the other video that I think probably know more than I do. Um, but this one worked for me, and it seems like it worked for a lot of other people. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll link the other video on how to disassemble the battery. Thanks.